Hi, thank you as well for having me. So some people would argue that many of us here already have an early form of cancer. This is kind of a scary thought, but the mutation that eventually leads to cancer can happen up to 50 years before the tumor is found. So how do we stop this ubiquitous disease? Well, for one thing, cancer is not one disease. It's actually a word for a collection of over 200 different diseases. And they have different symptoms, age of onset, and treatments. The treatments range for over 160 different approved chemotherapy drugs. And so finding a way to treat this disease is quite complex. In fact, cancer isn't just different between patients, but it's different in one patient over time. So you've heard the phrase, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And cancer is just like that. There's a childhood brain cancer called medulloblastoma that if we catch early has a very high survival rate. However, if it ever recurs in the child, there's basically nothing we can do. And this is because we've hit it with every treatment we have and any cells that have survived are stronger and now they build back an entire tumor that is treatment resistant. So we wonder, is there some Achilles heel? Is there some way to deal with this ability of cancer? Well, in 2000, the doctors Hanahan and Weinberg suggested 10 properties that they believe are the hallmarks of cancer. Written on my slide, these are the things that make cancer, cancer. Things like the ability to grow without being told, to spread to new parts of the body, to initiate the development of new blood systems. Often when we treat cancer, we try to stop one of these abilities. But if the tumor finds a way around it by becoming more dependent on one of the other hallmarks, you get a, a tumor that is treatment resistant. So what I've done is I've created a computer simulation of cancer where we can model the impact of targeting multiple hallmarks of cancer at one time or at different times during treatment. Now in reality, it's not possible to test all possible pairs and triplets and quads of 160 different chemotherapy drugs, but in a computer, absolutely. And so what I've done is created a simulation that starts with a healthy cell, grows it to a tumor, and then applies all possible combination of these hallmark knockouts. We see that some pairs actually don't stop the tumor at all and you get a massive tumor even with the treatment, while others have a statistically significant effect where we have no growth beyond a very small microscopic tumor. So we're able to do all this without making a patient sick or using funding or trying treatments that just wouldn't work. So obviously it's still a ways off from curing cancer, but someday we hope models like this will be specific enough that we can actually program them for each individual patient to calculate the right one-two punch to stop such a ubiquitous killer. Thank you.